Welcome, Miss TT. Welcome back. If you're watching this video, then you're probably on my YouTube or somewhere that I don't post it. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna do an oracle message today. Um, I'm sitting here chopping it up with the people on tag because that's where I usually start it. And then I come over here. So what's up, y'all? And I hope y'all enjoying y'all day. I'm kind of in a giddy mood because I've been having a lot of good things happen and it got me feeling a little giddy. And I just hit that blunt and it got me feeling giddier. But yeah. Let's see. God, angels, spirit guides, ascended masters, thank you for giving us the message that we need today for our highest good. All right. She looking black a knee. She looking black a knees. Okay. Let's see what's popping. Thank you, guys. Inner knowing. This why I keep get okay. I'm not gonna say why. I'm not gonna say why. I keep getting the same messages. Over and over. It is very, 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 very important for us right now to know who we are. To know who we are and know what's for us and stand in that shit. And stop trying to ask other people do the fuck they know what we supposed to do, what we already know. Did that make sense? No. It don't fucking make sense because we know. We making it too complicated. That's what's coming through me. I fucking got this message like... I know this is my second time and this is keeps happening angels we are it's yeah we already know what time it is we asking other people about uh shit in our life that we can only go in and know the answer for ourselves because people can people ain't walked your your shoes they haven't experienced what you have nobody can give you the answer for what's for you and I know I'm talking to myself right now because I, I peeped a couple of things that I did in the past couple of days. Not being hard on myself, but just asking other people opinions about something that I only know the answer to. So that's what that card is telling me. Stop looking outside of um <clears throat> stop looking outside of yourself for the answer because you're never gonna find it. You just prolonging. You just prolonging the process. Nobody can tell you what's right for your life. Only you know and feel it. So, so stop asking for people advice about what you know already and not paying attention to it. I'm going to read what's in the book. But that's what the fuck that's saying to me. Bless it. Yeah, I feel like I need to take another break from social media. Because when I wasn't, when I was on my fast from social media, I really wasn't fucking with social media. You feel me? Like, I was really studying every day, spending more time going in myself, thinking to myself. And no, it's just a fucking distraction. Nobody's using it but me. And it's outdated and it's played out. You feel me? Because there's too many other moves I can be busted. Even though, yes, I use it to network and all that good shit, you feel me? But I got sucked back in for nothing, and it's a waste of time. And, and, I, and I feel like, I don't know how I'm just saying this and how this ties into what I'm thinking. Because <clears throat> the inner knowing is also knowing the things that it's time to fucking change and stop distracting yourself and fucking procrastinating. You feel me? You know it's been when it don't even feel right to sign. You see how much you deal with yourself when you stop fucking getting on Facebook, man? And, it's, and if this message is uh, resonating with you, fill in the blank where I put Facebook at. Whatever you're doing uh, 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 obsessively, and not fucking prioritizing your life, your healing, your self-love. Yeah. 
That stuff got to change. So I'm going to read what's in the book. This is the moment to trust your inner knowing. The stage of doubting is over. And it's time to believe in yourself. So in me, this message right here in this book is saying, stop doubting myself. I like to read tarot. I like to talk. I like to listen to people talk. I like I like to listen to people talk because um, I feel like I'm able to help them figure out shit. You know, because I put myself in other people's shoes. But um, give me the thought back. Give me the thought back. The inner knowing is just. This is also saying to me about my career. I don't even like to say my career path, but my uh, gifts that I've been given, spiritual gifts, using them to help the world right now. I'm in a space where I can't keep second guessing it because I already know what the fuck it is. And if I do it and I don't like that, I can still do something different. You feel me? Like, But I like to talk now. I like to fucking share. Okay. This mermaid has the look of inner knowing and she's swimming into your reading today to affirm that you have access to this inner knowing too. It's about believing in yourself and trusting your intuition, <clears throat> which is which is a powerful tool in life. When you believe in this inner knowing, you'll see stagnant areas of your life begin to flow again as you trust your ability to know things. Oh, my heart. God. Are you always doubting? Here I go, about to cry. I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to hold it in. I be, I train myself to push that shit back down when I feel it. So, now that... I'm becoming comfortable with my emotions and know that I'm just super sensitive. I let that shit come out. And and, and a lot of times when I cry, I don't always be sad. It just be a feeling. I feel it so deeply. And it's like, because I used to feel like it made me a spectacle too, along with my awkwardness. You feel me? I fucking hit it and learn how to push it down but I don't want to push it down no more if I feel it and I'm standing in the middle of a fucking parking lot or I don't care where I'm at if I feel it I'm letting that shit out I'm letting it out I'm not because it feels so much better out but it's like sometimes when I feel it I still have that um old reaction that I want to do like Consciously, I know here it comes. I feel it. Let it out now. You learned how to let it out. But my body will do something, will try to do something different. So I have a struggle with doing it the old way, pushing it down like I really don't feel it, or expressing it and letting it flow out. So I let it flow out now to so feel better. And if I want to cry, I want to cry. I don't give a fuck who feel away about it. Yes, I'm a cry baby. I cry when I'm hungry. I'm a cry when I'm horny. I cry when I'm mad. I cry. I'm a fucking cry baby. And I love me. Crying is beautiful. Okay, here go the rest of the thing. Let me start back over. Let me see how much time I got. Uh, oh, I got enough time. This mermaid has a look of inner knowing and she's swimming into your reading today to affirm that you have access to this inner knowing too. It's about believing in yourself and trusting your intuition, which is a powerful tool in life. When you believe in this inner knowing, you'll see stagnant areas of your life begin to flow again as you trust your ability to know things. Are you always doubting your intuition? Perhaps you're in denial about something that deep down you know to be true. Allow yourself the freedom to trust this inner instinct and also known as your gut feeling. Acting on your inner knowing is the correct course of action. Sometimes it might not make sense on a rational level, yet deep inside, 
at the core of your being, you know that you are correct. This isn't arrogance. It's having confidence in your ability to trust in yourself. When this card appears in a reading, it means that you already know what to do. Perhaps you feel fear or trepidation. Trip, trepidation. I think I stumbled up on this word last time and I didn't even look it up. Um, to act on this instinct. The more you learn to trust this ex aspect of yourself, the easier following your inner guidance will become. There could be someone around you who is trying to convince you to doubt your own instincts. If this is the case, always remember to tune in before following the advice of anyone else. What's right for one person may not be right for another person. Different strokes for different folks. So what this card was saying to me, it really clarified a lot of stuff. I don't care. I'm following what I feel. And I and I noticed that sometimes I still be trying to put other people's feelings before mine. And I don't fucking like that. I'm not being mean to myself right now. But no, I don't like that. I caught myself doing that earlier. Like just going with the idea over my mind. And no, nobody comes before you. If you if it don't feel right for you, then do not do that shit. I don't care about nobody else's feelings. And I'm saying this to myself. And I'm not saying it in like a malicious, hurtful, destructive way. Like I want to hurt somebody else to make me feel good. But if that's what happens, because I'm doing what's best for me, then I'm not going to make myself feel bad about it. Because... Everybody is in, in control of their own emotions and feelings. And we all got to make ourselves the number one. <clears throat> okay, so thank you because I'm about to go on a social media break. I need to have scheduled times where I do certain things on there and then not be on there no more. And I feel like I don't even need to be on there to do that. Right now, I feel like it's time to take the time again. Because anything that's a distraction, it's time to take some time away from that. Because that's being a block is going all the way in as deep with yourself as you can. Yeah, you yeah, you are doing good. Yeah, you're gonna end up where you're supposed to be, right at the right divine time. But if you wanna see stuff flow in a in a, in a better way, then you gotta get out your way. You gotta you gotta match more of the action of it. Stick with it. Number forty four. Stick with it. Stick with it is the message. Basically, this card is 444 on the clock. Angels, y'all be talking, don't y'all? And it's 44 on the card. It's 444 on the clock. And it's 44 on the card. And I'm sitting here talking about inner knowing and knowing what's best for you. And that 444 is the right time, right place, right now, right direction. You feel me? Uh, stick with it. Do climbing up a pine tree that looks like it's going up to Jack and the Beanstalk. You feel me? Imagine how tall that is. Climbing to the heavens. You feel me? And that's just saying stay the course that you're on right now. That, it, that I keep getting the same messages. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, this is what I'm supposed to do. Why do I keep having to get con? I don't have to get confirmation from no motherfucker. I'm talking to myself. I'm not checking nobody but myself. You feel me? Like I don't have to get confirmation for what feels right for nobody else. I don't have to hide what who I am. I I am stepping the power. Stepping your power. I don't have to keep going back to see if it worked for other people. No, I have to do it my way. And then the pe the right people for me going to come. I don't have to fix. I don't have to worry about hair clients to pay my bills. I don't have to do none of that shit. All I have to do is do what God called me to do and stick to it. 
no matter what it looks like. That's the same message. But I'm sharing this with y'all. And I ain't going in on myself. This is my first time pulling this card out of this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Toy. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of myself, man. <laughs> Stick with it. As you wake up your spirit and begin to live in the higher frequency of love, the ego becomes confused and wants to resist. This new energy displaces the ego's power and renders it impotent. So it tries to re reverse or arrest the changes. Be aware of your ego's resistance and stay true to your spirit anyway. Ignore inner ego dialogue that suggests you're wasting your time and thus tries to discourage your efforts. Changing your vibration to a higher level of being able to changing your vibration to a higher level and being able to consistently hold it takes patience, practice and discipline. Man, stick with your determination to live your, stick to your determination to live your spirit. Remain faithful to what you love, what, what you believe in, and what reflects your authentic self. Although you may not see instant results, you can feel the change within yourselves and bring more light and love to your being. Stick with your higher intentions and, and soon you'll witness the effects in the world. This message is definitely for me. We're not just talking about going back and forth with myself about doing tarot and making these messages online and uploading on, on different places. Like People don't understand, but it's a challenge for me because this is something that I always let hold me back because I, I didn't have the confidence to do it but this is God telling me to keep doing it you feel me like those those words in that page that were saying like stay consistent to keep to hold your vibration excuse me those words that said stay consistent so that you can hold your vibration where it needs to be. Like you don't automatically see results. And that's me needing to have patience and keep doing what I'm doing because I'm doing it with the intent of healing myself that is going to be healing to the world. You feel me? And keep going. Don't give up. Stop. Get out my head. Because it's for me. It's for you too. Put yourself in, take out the blanks and then fill it in with what, like I said, shit. Okay, let me get on with this message because I'm kind of got a lot going on in my head and I just like, 449 is a message from your angels that a project or a cycle is ending and you are asked to look to your achievements and successes. Take the lessons from the experiences and use them to your future advantage. Finish off anything left undone. Number 44. <clears throat> Ask that you pay attention to your intuition and your inner wisdom as your connection with the angels and the angelic realm is very strong at this time. You are encouraged to continue on your current path as, you, as, as your drive and determination will lead to success and fulfillment. Wow. So number eight, angel number eight brings an uplifting message of encouragement from your angels telling of achievements, success, striving forward, progress, and attainment. 
It is a message to stay optimistic and listen to your intuition and inner guidance as you hold positive expectations and thoughts of positive abundance in all forms. Set solid foundations for yourself and your loved ones as this will ensure your future prosperity. The universe and your angels will always support you, but it is your responsibility to ensure that you put in the appropriate work and efforts when and where necessary. You are encouraged to live up to your full potential. So this really this message goes back to what I was saying earlier about letting things hold you back that you know you've outgrown. Thought processes, habits, like like I'm sitting here smoking this blunt and I know I'm not a weed smoker no more. I know I'm not a weed smoker. Stuff like that. Listening to your intuition. Stop looking on the outside. Nobody on the outside can tell you what's right for your life. But I'm ch- I'm going to chop this message up right here. I'm going to end it right here. But if you're following me over here, follow me on uh, Instagram at Spiritual TT, where I post daily inspiration and love and just share tools that people sh- have shared with me. So follow me on Instagram at Spiritual TT, just like this page. You can follow me on YouTube. If you're watching me on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, tell me how this video resonated with you. Subscribe to my channel. Share the message with a friend. Uh, uh, I offer intuitive, intuitive guidance and readings. If you need me, hit me at one of those. Uh, on one of those platforms, you can. How else can you reach me? Where else can you reach me? YouTube. S, um, YouTube is spiritual teaching too. So that's about it. I hope this message gave you the answers you were looking for. I'm about to get off of here and be productive and enjoy the rest of my evening. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening too. Bye. Thanks for watching.